Hey, it's Marvelo, and welcome back for another weekly smoke session. I've got a tiny little pipe loaded with some green crack, so I'm going to go ahead and hit it with this massive lighter to get the smoke session started. This tiny little pipe is really nothing special, and I didn't introduce it by name because it doesn't have one. I name all my pieces, even my pipes, everything I name it, so obviously this is not mine. Cat also names her pieces. This is my mom's pipe, and I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but it just has the tiniest little bowl on it. My mom has two pipes, and that's it. She smokes out of pipes, she's a little afraid of bongs, but she also really loves edibles. Now, this tiny little bowl here versus like that one's got a pretty massive bowl. So I'm gonna smoke out of this one and then I'll smoke out of this one. But, you know, I did a smoke session in my mom's room. So you know what? Now I thought, hey, let's smoke with her little pieces because my pipes are in storage and I've never smoked out of pipes with you guys. few pipes. Big one, small one, some as big as your head. Not really. I don't think I have a pipe as big as your head. But yeah. The reason I haven't smoked with any pipes yet though is because I don't really like smoking out of things that aren't perked. You get the um, Scooby snacks or, you know, just chunks of weed, whatever you want to call it. People have all sorts of names for it. But when you're taking a hit and stuff pulls through and smacks you in the face, goes down your throat, hits you in the mouth, you know, it's unpleasant. I don't like it. And a bong really helps for that not to happen. Also, bong rips are smoother. You can usually take bigger hits. But, you know, nothing really beats the convenience of a pipe for when you're trying to be stealthy or you're on the go or something. Yeah, I couldn't find any other lighters though today, so that's why we're using this thing. So my mom only uses pipes for, and uh, not bongs, for a couple reasons. She used to be one of those old school stoners that um, smoked out of metal pipes. That's what she had when I found her weed and stuff. Well, I mean, she had that pipe even when I was a kid. I guess I found her metal pipe and she just told me it was one of my dad's tools and I never thought any more of it. I have no recollection of this, but I guess I found a pipe when I was like six. Anyways. I found that metal pipe and I was just like, God, my mom has terrible taste. She now has two glass pipes, but um, bongs are too intense. She doesn't mind bubblers, but she really just likes the way edible highs make her feel. So you might wonder, okay, why is she afraid of bongs? Well, the last time my mom smoked out of a bong, I guess she broke it. Makes me, it makes me sad because I've never got my mom to smoke out of any of my bongs. I've smoked a joint with her. I've smoked bowls out of pipes with her. I've had edibles with her, but we've never smoked a bong together. I'll take bong rips while I'm in a room with her. Me and Kat will pass a bong back and forth and she's like, uh, no thank you. But, uh, I guess she, she just doesn't get the pulling of the bowl and everything, which, you know, I get it. It's a little bit confusing at first. Let's see if I can kill this bowl, this tiny bowl. God, that was a short bowl. Bowl, 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 bowl. Wasn't able to kill that bowl because my lips started to burn. And that's another thing I hate about pipes. Whew. 
Ooh, okay, that one's dead. Goodbye to unnamed pipe of my mom's. I'll get my vape on while I show you up close the second pipe. It's kind of like a candy cane. It's got a pretty big bowl. I mean, like, it's bigger than my thumb. So it's very deep. I don't even know if I'm going to fill it because it's a pipe. I don't really like pipe hits. I don't know, guys. We'll see. I'll just load it now. Okay, bowl's loaded up in my mom's second pipe. As you can see, it's a much bigger bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and take a hit with my big old lighter. Ugh, see that's the part I hate about pipes. I just got weed in my mouth. Oh, if you really like smoking out of pipes, please tell me why, what it is you like about them. I mean, it's not my least favorite method, but it's definitely not my favorite either. I feel like this pipe... <coughs> hits a lot better than the other one. It might just help that there's more weed loaded in too, but I don't know. All I know is my weed is way better than my mom's weed because whenever I smoke bowls with her, it tastes like shit compared to what it tastes like now. I kind of thought it was just the pipe, but no. My mom needs to get some better weed. So what happens when your boyfriend grows all your weed and he's not the best grower and then you just are like, oh, I'll smoke this weed. I'm not gonna buy anything better. And then you're stuck with shit weed. The only thing with this pipe is you can't really see through it like the other one where you could see the smoke going through. I kind of like that in a pipe, but I don't know. I bought a bong before I ever bought a pipe. I mean, obviously I have bought pipes. I'll introduce you to some of my pipes someday. But my cousins have broken a few of my pipes, so that fucking sucks. This is not a magic wand. I probably shouldn't fling my fire around, but it's so fun. Ow, I just burnt my inner thigh. So I know I talked a lot about like mental health and health stuff last week, so I thought I'd kind of give a break from all of that this week. Also, like I had said, my new psychiatrist is on vacation right now. So yeah, I basically have been the past week more like, I don't know, since the last smoke sesh, I've been doing a little bit of modeling, uh, but mostly I've been catching up on sleep and reading. And it's been kind of nice. I get a, such a different high off of a pipe. It's kind of weird. <laughs> wow, I'm already looking way more stuff. No pipe, I just don't want to hit you right now. Don't be chariot anymore, please. So at the beginning of this year, I had made a video about my book recommendations. And I think I'm going to do that again. At the end of this year, I'll talk about like what I read this year and what I thought of what I read. But I've been wondering how else I can incorporate literature into my channel because it's something really important to me, something I'm really passionate about. and. 
I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate that, whether it'll be done in my smoke sessions or somewhere else, but I definitely want to start incorporating a little bit of literature. Let me know what you guys think about that down below and if you have any ideas of how I could incorporate it. If not, I'll just keep thinking about it myself. Also, I'm hoping I got this right. Hopefully I got my shit together and did this, but this video hopefully is coming out on a Saturday and I'm hoping to stick to that and make it my schedule. I had been meaning to have smoke sesh Saturdays from the start, but I was afraid of committing a day of the week and then not being able to stick to it. I think that by having it set on a day of the week, it'll be making it easier for me to get into more of a schedule and routine and yeah. Either way, I just wanted to thank you guys for sticking around even though I'm even when my smoke sashes are rambly and weird or when I get them up later than I should and when I have like no set schedule so I just wanted to say thank you to you guys and I wanted to say I'm going to be making every attempt I can to get them up on Saturdays. I guess that's as close as committing I'm able to do. Telling you I'm gonna try my best if this is up on a Saturday yay me if not, then damn you. Damn me. Not you. Me. <laughs> wow. Well, this bowl is just about dead. And I'm sick of smoking out of these pipes anyways. I've got to get them back in there before my mom gets home tomorrow. So that's going to be it for this smoke session. Thank you so much for watching and smoking along with me if you do smoke. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already to stay updated for the next time I make a video. I love you guys and I'll see you again soon. Ow, my thigh.